I believe that it's rare Only bad airs people do that When the first rays of the sun Hit the fresh green leaves And a rabbit not many weeks old Prisoner of the past, though I know that things don't last. I'm going home, but I don't know the way. If I'm lucky, I'll live halfway. If I'm unlucky, I only have today. What kind of wicked plan is this? Good morning, you beautiful people. How the devil are we? Welcome to the channel. My name is Paul, if you don't already know, and I'm just a, a simple Yorkshireman that drives this here truck. You join me on a Tuesday morning. It's Tuesday, the uh, 30th of March. Yeah, I'm in the right lane. I thought I was in the wrong lane then. Um, and we're going into Hull again. We're here yesterday doing exactly the same job to the exactly the same site. Collecting from the same place, going to the same place. But it's a little bit exciting. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll already know. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, below, get down there, go check me out. Go check it out. Um, yeah, it's at Wittering Trucker on Instagram. And you get sneaky peeks of uh, what I'm up to uh, before the vlogs come out, the videos come out. Um, We've got these abnormal loads, they're uh, huge, long, um, they're not that big to be fair, lengthwise they're not bad. The, the load is 15.6 metres long, um, 3.7 metre wide, well, they're not that high to be fair. They're running, after you, the, uh, the running height is um, 15 foot 2, so not too bad at all really. But uh, the problem is the access at the other end, uh, it's in, into a school. Um, so that being the case, we have got on hire um, five axle brush house trailers. And that's what I've got behind me. Uh, it's a five axle full steer, even though first axle is up, so it's actually a four axle full steer. <laughs> first axle is a lift axle that comes down under weight. Uh, there's no weight in these things. Uh, in the units, so that it doesn't drop the trailer, and he's going to pull out his that tanker, isn't he? Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, cheers. Um, yeah, so the actual unit, there's no, uh, there's no weight in it, the load, but the trailer is so heavy. Um, it's so heavy, empty. Um, it's that heavy that the uh, the tag axle on the on my truck doesn't lift. Um, it, it won't stay up, it won't even go up, it just tells me that it's, it's overloaded, it has to stay down when I try and lift it. So I'm constantly running, even when empty, I'm running with my axle down. <coughs> but you can see now it's pulling away so slow and I'm empty. But anyway, it is what it is, but it's good fun, it's, uh, it's, it's entertaining. I like to say, I'll show you the uh, site later, I'm hoping, hoping to get the drone up when we get there, put it up overhead so you can get, get an overhead view of access into the place and how we do it, because it is tight. 
Um, on site yesterday there was a guy filming um, something, I don't know what it was, it was for the company. So filming on site shouldn't be an issue. But yeah, hopefully I can get the drone up. The wind's dropped and that, so we should be good. <sighs> so, I'm doing this all week. So this is all you're going to get. <laughs> I'm just going to do this one run with you. I'll get as much of the, the loading it um, and unloading as I can. Um, we'll talk a bit between here and there. Um, this uh, this trailer I'll take you for a walk around on the trailer and show you a bit of the trailer because it is unusual. It's slightly wider than a normal trailer. It's about four inch wide on each side. Overall, obviously, it's um, a double extending trailer, so it's not a normal one. You've got to move an airline and stuff, it's weird, it's really unmaintained, shall we say. That it's obviously not used very often, um, so the connections and that are really hard to work. I'm trying to I'm trying to get them to plug in, and that's really, really quite difficult, just physically difficult. So, we're going to a place I've been to before with you guys a couple of times now, um, a place called Integra outside Hull at Hedden. I say you have been in with me before. <sighs> and like I say I'm on this all week. I think I'm doing four runs this week. It's been number two. Um, bank holiday weekend this weekend isn't it? Good Friday. Um, so hopefully um, well I'm working on having Friday and Monday off. I'm working on having a long weekend off. One, I need it off, and two, the wife's got a list about this long of stuff for me to do. One of them being a new garden gate, and a new garden, well, the side fence to the gate. So we'll have to get that done this weekend. I might even Instagram that. I might show you how we get on with Instagram on that, if I remember. <laughs> you guys know what I'm like, I'm shocking, I forget stuff. This uh, rear trailer, this rear steer trailer, takes, or this should I say steer trailer, it's not even a rear steer is it, it's a full steer, uh, it took some getting used to driving with it, because it, it obviously drives totally different to uh, a regular regular trailer and uh, a rear steer trailer, it, it just drives totally different. Well we'll get there, well we've got there should I say, I haven't hit anything yet. <laughs> But this has also got um, an adjustable neck. We, <coughs> we call it a swan neck on a step frame, so you've got your truck at this end, shall we say, and you've got a flat flat piece above the, above the actual truck, and it steps down, then you've got the bed of the trailer. Well, that bit at the top is actually adjustable. You can adjust it on, on the rake. Don't know why. Don't know why. Um, I believe later in the week we've got uh, a unit to move that's 4.1 metres high. I'll say that again because I mumbled. 4.1 metres. Bearing in mind, at 5 metres, we're, we're getting up to, I mean, 5 metres total, we're getting up to a maximum height, running height. <coughs> so uh, I have to have a play about trying to get the heights down using uh, all the hydraulics on the trailer. But we'll worry about that later in the week, it's pointless worrying about it now. Oh, a couple of shout outs. I don't do shout outs, you know I don't do shout outs. I've had a few people asking for shout outs uh, fairly new to the channel. Uh, I'm not being rude, I just don't do shout outs. I leave that to other people that like doing them, enjoy doing them. Um, but I've had um, a letter from Chris Taylor um, and what, another one, another one from John Whitehouse. The gents, um, yes, I will do what you've asked. You know what it is. I'm not going to talk about it right now, but you guys, you know what it is. So yes, no problem. Letters received, and I will, uh, I will do accordingly. Like I said, I don't mean to be rude about shout outs. It's just not my thing. Um, if you want a shout out, head over to the link down below. In the description for Trucker Jenko, uh, Trucker Jenko is doing a um, ab sale in uh, in August, 
and he said if you give him a 50p, a minimum of 50 pence donation to the uh, to the cancer charity that he's working, he's doing it for, which is uh, 10 of us, Cancer Care, uh, he'll give you a shout out on his channel. So make sure you leave him a message, say that I've sent you across, say that it's for Trucker Genco, and uh, he'll give you a shout out on his channel. No, the place is full. Well, that company there, in transit, is now owned by WS Transportation. There's a scoop for you, if you didn't already know. But uh, yeah, WS uh, bought them out uh, a few weeks ago. Let's not turn too quick. I like that coming out. Morning, you handsome devil. It's not like I can go anywhere, anyway, is it? No worries, buddy. There we are, we're here, Integra. Good, good set of lads here, really good set of lads. They really know the stuff. They do all sorts of pippy things with that. With the fork trucks, it's quite amusing to listen to and watch. But it's uh, the control, how they control the fork trucks and that. It's good. I got hiccups. Um, so I'll love you leaving for now. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll go get these guys a hand. Get them out of here a bit quicker. When I said that, it's like I can't go anyway, because obviously I need an escort driver. Uh, an escort to... Uh, to drive with me because of the size of it and obviously the escort is um, Nation Assist who, who are sponsor of the channel uh, if you look down in that corner somewhere down there you'll see their logo um, when they do a stand-up job and uh, we'll have a chat with one of, the, one of their drivers in a bit depending who it is um, we'll, uh, we'll speak to you guys soon take care and I'll see you in a bit bye for now
Hi hey guys, how are you doing? So I'll show you the load. All the way back there, you see? It's a big old lump. I'll show you about the trailer while we're here. Let's flip it around the other way. The trailer's got this, this funky neck thing. I don't know how much that's going to show. It's a hydraulic neck. It's weird. And it's fucking shade. There we go. Five axles. It's not set at ride height yet. But that's. You can see that axle there. It's just off the floor. And it won't drop. It will just stay high. So it's just running on four. But all four that'll be a steer. Take it down. So what we got? It's 3.7 meter wide. And that's what the butt looks like. So all in all, it's a it's a big old lump. It's a big old lump. It's all good fun. <laughs> I'll uh, speak to you a bit, guys. Bye for now. Hi guys, how are we? How are we doing? Uh, turning my Bluetooth on. Right, we're, uh, we're about to leave site. Um, all loaded up, ready to go. Wait here. That man there is struggling. Um, the plan now, the one that's moving that you can probably just see on camera in the distance, top right hand corner, he's going to do a loop of this building to our right. That's the plan. Because he's the third to leave. Um, the one that you can see in front of us, it's a company called In Transit. Uh, he's running with me, his is 4 metres wide, mine's 3.7, mine's longer though. Um, he wants me to lead because he's never done it before, so that's fair enough. So I'm going to go squeeze past him once we've got him in the gate. It's looking very tight. So we have CBs switched on, we have, because In Transit haven't got radios, so we've got portable radio as well so I can talk to the escort driver directly by uh, by the CB some painkillers my back's killing me um, and then all three of us have got we've got a handheld as and when we need it and he's through now so I'm gonna squeeze past him Outside camera on. Look at that. If it switches on, that is. Start that recording. Slap that there, like that. So, you should have a bit of outside, outside footage as well. straight through. Yeah, she has. She's just pulling away straight past it. Uh, right, so we're off. Um, the plan now is to go to Birch Services uh, and we're going to stage up at Birch Services, wait there until we're individually called to site. Um, yeah, that's it really. Like I said, this video's going to be 
un unusual. I might do a bit of polishing if I've got time to spare. Um, I will do a bit of polishing. And um, yeah, it's a. Uh, I always say hello to the friendly locals. Yeah, I'll try and get a bit of polishing done. I have done my arches and my tyres while I've been waiting just then, because it's now, what, uh, 20 to 10, and uh, I got there at 7 o'clock, so I've been up there over two hours, got loaded and that. Um, <coughs> so thank you. So then what I'll do is... He's off a little bit away from that man to catch us up. Yeah, I can't even see him. He's called uh, Stuart. That's way behind us. Way behind us. Um, yeah, so I think what I'll do is I'll cut off this camera, cut off the uh, the waffle and the wittering and the chatting and the garbage. And I'll just run it just on the outside cameras, front camera, outside camera on the back there and um, yeah a bit of music and stuff like that might do a bit of time lapse see what you get <laughs> I'll speak to you guys in a bit take care and I'll speak soon bye for now time of your life I want to figure out what it takes to give you everything you desire I want to lay beneath the stars with you in the back of my truck I guess that this is what they call love Baby, you've been driving me crazy For so long now I've been waiting on the sidelines Praying for the right time to let you know Hi guys, welcome back. Right, we've got... 13 minutes to go, 4 miles to site. Um, I've got another vehicle behind me, another escortable load behind me, and then behind that I've got our escort vehicle. <coughs> Ralph, when we come off this roundabout, mate, come past us. Stopping some f***ing idiot trying to go up the inside of Stuart here. Honest to God. Uh, best way, just just hang fire, mate. There's a uh, walking floor part, so let's go around it first. <clears throat> Cracking place to stop. Take a phone call. <clears throat> yeah, you clear through, mate. Nation Assist to the front. <laughs> that is Ralph. Ralph's the boss of Nation Assist. And uh, yeah, he's he's the man with the power. Just watch your bollards on your near side, mate, on the path. I've got two radios. Um because we've got a subcontractor behind us. He's not got a CB radio, so we've got a handheld walkie-talkie. So uh, I can talk to Ralph. He's on the phone, then not have a clue. <laughs> uh, just watch your language, please. It saves me having to bleep it out when I'm editing later. 
Right, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was commenting on that young lass on the push bike, tootling along on a push bike, playing on a phone. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, I'm in contact with Ralph using the CBs, and uh, I'm, I'm in contact with the chap behind us um, on the uh, handheld radio. Hey, I'm here. Uh, no, this is that tight left with the um, with the broken t um, traffic light. Broken left, yeah. Yeah, if you block the uh, oncoming traffic around the corner, mate, please. What he's strictly doing, what he's doing, should I say, is not strictly legal because obviously he's gone through a red light, but it's, it assists us in. It's all right, guys, only 2.8 miles of this. <laughs> um, yeah, this is that left hand turn, mate. Um, the, tele, uh, the traffic light has been hit on the right on your offside. Uh, just be careful, it is tight. Uh, let's go for it and we'll get round this one. I uh, just went round me, so, you know what I mean? There's one there, but you shouldn't miss it. Okay. Well, I was in there. <coughs> I was stuck on the lights, red lights. Yeah, he's held on lights, Ralph. He should have kept coming, he should have kept coming. If it's clear to come now, tell him if it's clear, otherwise you can have a shitload of cars behind you. Stuart, if it's clear to come, come, because we're, we're kind of holding everything up now. Do what you're reading. Right, what I'm going to do with you guys, and we'll leave you uh, the, walk, the talky stuff, and I'll uh, just leave it on the uh, dash cam. Um, <coughs> we have got a car between us now, Rolf. <sighs> just take it steady, mate, until he's cleared. Yeah, go for it, mate. I can't see him anymore. It's good. It's good. Straight cruising, headed for a bruising, watching out for number one. You gotta slow down and look around you, son. Today is just today and not tomorrow. Where you're going, you can rest your head. Where you're going, brightness looks. Yeah.
wonder if you think about me like I think of you. Wonder if you dream the way I do. When you look at clouds, do you see faces as I do? Do you get caught by your own thoughts like I do? Happen if I show these words to you? Wonder if you laugh at my simple poetry, or even worse, would you look at me with pity in your eyes, saying I'm great and that you would like to be my friend? 'Cause you.
as honest as you are The way you make me feel at night When I am vulnerable And it's cold outside But you make it all right I wanna know you better Give me every detail I won't judge you as you know I could stay forever guys well yeah that was a that was a challenge to get that one in it was quite difficult to get in uh, it's, I did end up just binning the footage off and I stopped recording because I was stressing out um, but yeah it's in and it's tipped 
and hopefully you've got some drone footage. Um, I wanted to format the memory card before I start recording, but I didn't get time. So hopefully you've got some anyway, and it's not being corrupt because I haven't an issue with it. So yeah, it's pretty good. That's done. Um, I'm waiting on a phone call back now. I'm pretty damn positive. I'm going straight back to Hull and getting a third one. Um, just after I stopped recording earlier as well today, past Scott Andrews, he came the other way. Uh, we'll let test goes out. <laughs> and it's blooming warm. It's 20 degrees for goodness sake. I'm going to pull him away through because I am heavy and it takes some getting going as this. So obviously we're, hem we're empty, we're empty, <laughs> we're empty. There was a, a couple of times on footage there you'll have seen that we went through red lights and stuff like that. You, you kind of have no choice and the police turn a blind eye to it as long as you do it safely. Um, as long as you do it safely in a controlled way the police turn a blind eye to it, but if we'd have if we'd have not done so, we would have been queuing traffic, we would have had them stationary and we'd have just blocked the whole place up and nobody would have got anywhere and it would have just got worse for us being the abnormals that we are. So um, yeah, like I say, maybe not legal, but the, uh, the police do turn a blind eye to it providing it's done safely. Which obviously we did our very very best to do so. Let's get some air conditioning on. Wow. So I've got a feeling this today's video is going to be a bit short, or this week's video is going to be a bit short. But as I always say, I can only film what I've got, and I've got this all week. <laughs> so if you want to watch it again, I'll do it again tomorrow if you want. Uh, I'll stick it in the comments. Stick it in the comments. Tell me if you want me to keep. No, it's pointless because I'm pointless because I'll stop on it. But um, yeah, literally all I'm doing now is driving back to Hull and I'm going to reload and come back um, it's exactly the same again, exactly the same size exactly the same shape, exactly the same module <laughs> exactly the same route, might be a different escort driver that might be the only change um, I don't know, I don't, I, don't, I don't know so I've got a feeling this is going to be a, a, a quite a short, a nice short video for you guys it'll make a change for the long stuff that I normally do and I hope Seeing the escorting work is something different. Well, it's certainly something different because not many, if any, other vloggers that are doing it at the moment. You know the abnormal stuff. So I'd like to think that uh, that you enjoy that side of it. I really hope that footage turns out on the drone. It's quite cool. So yeah. So I think, ladies and gents, I'm going to leave it. I didn't get to any polishing. I didn't have time. It's never stopped. Stopped for a break, had a sandwich, and we went again. So yeah, we're going to leave it for this week, um, next week we'll talk more about giveaways and stuff like that, I have got a few bits and pieces lined up for you, but we'll talk about them next week, and uh, hopefully I have more variety <laughs> that I can film, sorry I'm just cleaning my dashboard, um, but yeah, um, if you've got any questions, any comments, make sure you leave them down below in the, uh, in the comment section, and also... Um, Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like the video, if you found it entertaining, if you don't like it and didn't find it entertaining, give it a thumbs down. I'm not bothered either way you want to do it. Your choice. Tally up to you. Um, also, if you have enjoyed it, please consider subscribing, as always. Hit that notification bell. And I uh, and you will get a notification when I upload, which is normally on a Sunday morning at 10am. I do that thank you earlier. I'm sure I did. I'm sure I did, but I'll do it again just in case I didn't. Chris Tyler, John Woodhouse. Thank you for the envelopes. Thank you for the mail. And I will do as you asked. I'm sure I said that when I started this vlog. I'm sure I did, but there you go, I got it again. And everybody else that wants to send us anything in the post, the, uh, the address is in uh, the description, which should be changing soon because I'll tell you next week. So ladies and gents, boys and girls, all those that are confused, thank you for riding along with me. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll catch up with you in next week's vlog. Take care guys. Bye for now.